James Webb Telescope's terrifying discovery at the end of the universe. Our universe is enormous, but what lies at the very edge of it? The James Webb Telescope has an answer. The James Webb Telescope captured a light source that is 13 billion years old. That is roughly the age of the universe. The universe is gigantic, with trillions of bright stars and galaxies shimmering peacefully. However, the early universe was greatly different and chaotic. New stars were being produced at a very rapid rate, and most of the galaxies were chaotic in shape. The galaxies were really large and massive, surprisingly, just after the Big Bang. And there were black holes sending shockwaves, shaking the fabric of the universe. There were so many mysteries that needed to be unfolded regarding the truth of the early universe that something needed to be pointed at the very end, or say at the very birth of it. And that was the James Webb Telescope. The telescope is really powerful, and with the help of it, we will be able to observe the genesis of the universe. But how? How can the James Webb Telescope view the past? Well, that is because of the finite speed of light. How do we see an object when light from that object reaches our eye? The speed of light is approximately 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. So basically it takes one second for light to cover the distance of 3 times 10 to the 8th power meters. Now, suppose you're looking at an object that is so far away that it will take 3 seconds for light to cover the distance to reach your eye. You will actually look 3 seconds in the past. This is how the James Webb Telescope can view the past. However, there's one more problem. The universe is expanding. Galaxies are moving farther away from us every second, and the engine fueling the expansion is supposedly dark energy. Why is this a problem? Well, suppose you're running on a mat. If the length of the mat is expanding, technically your speed is decreasing, so the distance will increase. So if the universe is expanding, the speed of light must also change. However, the speed of light is constant and cannot change. So what happens? The frequency of light decreases. A wave has a wavelength and a wave frequency. On the spectrum of electromagnetic waves, the color blue, UV rays, etc., have high frequency. And the color red and infrared rays have low frequency. So as the universe expands, the frequency of the light decreases, making it redder. Even if the light from a far away galaxy is blue, it appears red. This phenomena is called redshift. As the frequency decreases, the light becomes infrared, which human eyes cannot perceive. And if we cannot observe the wave, then how can we study the light collected? The James Webb Telescope is programmed to employ infrared imaging. By infrared imaging, we can produce an image using infrared waves. This will ultimately solve all our problems and enable us to peer back in time to unfold the many mysteries of our vast cosmos. Until then, watch this video. It will blow your mind. Click here.